recommended adult dose of alexaphalin, a drug used to treat asthma, is 6.0 mg per kilogram of body weight. Calculate the dose in milligrams for 170 pound person and they give us a conversion that 1 kilogram is 2.20462 pounds. So how do we do this problem? First of all, in order to do any kind of basically conversion problems, we must start with a number that is given to us that is not a ratio. So we were given two numbers, 6 milligrams per kilogram, and that's a ratio, right? It's milligram per kilogram per means division, so that's a ratio. One kilogram has that many milligrams. And we were giving an, given a number of 170 pounds. So we, between these two numbers, I'm going to start with, one, with my 170 pounds. So I'm going to say 170 pounds, and I will ask myself, what can I convert it to? Sorry, this is multiplication sign. It just doesn't look great, but it's okay. Now, to, in order to convert, I see pounds here, and I want to get rid of them, so I'm going to put pounds here. And one, and then we have 2.20462, 2.20462 pounds in one kilogram. So I can convert pounds to kilograms, and I can say one kilogram is 2.20462 pounds. And the way we convert is the unit that we want to get rid of, we will put at the bottom so they can cancel. And the unit that we want, we put at the top. So we put pounds on the bottom, kilograms on the top. And we use this ratio that is given to us in the problem for this conversion. So now we have kilograms. Now we don't want kilograms. They're asking us for milligrams. And we have another ratio, and that is 6 milligrams per kilogram. So we want to get rid of kilograms. And we can use the ratio of 6 milligrams per kilogram. We're getting rid of kilograms and we're getting 2 milligrams. Now we know that 1 kilogram of body weight requires 6.0 milligrams of this drug that is used to treat asthma. So kilograms cancel and we get 2 milligrams, which is what we were looking for. So let's go ahead and plug that into our calculator. 170 divided by 2.20462, uh, just 2 actually. And then I've been multiply this by 6.0 and I'm getting 462.6. 4, 7 milligrams and now if I look at all of the if I would like to do significant figures I can see there are two significant figures in this number the least amount of significant figures and so um, I can do to do it I will round it to two significant figures so it's going to be 4.6 times 10 to the second milligrams and that would be my answer. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.